Hello, Olivia. I would like to ask you, how is the atmosphere in the locker room uh, through the, the last days? And uh, as one of the most experienced guys, uh, how responsible do you feel to make a step up and uh, bounce back to the winning streak? Uh, you know, in the locker room, I mean, these last few days, I practice uh, great energy from everybody. You know, we, we're ready to learn from our mistakes, learn from that, that, that last game, which was, I think, disappointing to all of us. And then we're ready to bounce back. We got a lot of energy. We're ready to go, ready to play our next game. Go to uh, Myra Metcalf and then Jerry Bethlehem. And just a reminder, guys, the players, I'll, I will keep your line unmuted if you got a follow up. Uh, uh, Olivier, um, just with everything that's going on, man, just how are you doing in all this? Uh, thank you for asking. I mean, I'm doing great. You know, it's, it's basketball. We're here to just get better uh, each and every day. And we got to, you know, sometimes things doesn't go your way, but you still have to fight every time you play. So, I think it's something that we got to take care of that. And, and, and I mean, thanks for asking, but we, we're doing good. Thank you. All right, Jerry Tipton, we'll go to you. Yeah, Olivier, why, uh, why do you think you guys have had so many turnovers? What, 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 what's contributing to that? Uh, I think it's something that we talk about at practice all the time is making the easy play, you know, not trying to make the, the, the best play, the hero play, and just taking care of the ball and, and making sure that we get through our offense. And I wondered too, uh, uh, Coach Cal said you guys got punked by Kansas. And then he said uh, Georgia Tech manhandled you in that game. How does that play on your mind? How do you respond to that kind of talk? Uh, you know, I mean, it's something that Coach talked about. It's, it's, it's true, you know, I just got to get better at just being, just fighting on the court, you know, just competing out there, just, it's something that you can't, you can't get a, you can't allow to, you know. John Hale, third general, we'll go to you. Olivier, how would you assess your play so far? Obviously, you had the one game where you played like 38 minutes, then you had foul trouble, and then maybe not as good against Georgia Tech. Just how do you feel like you're playing right now? What do you need to get better at? Uh, everything, you know. I'm trying to, I got to get better at everything, obviously. Uh, that's not, the last game is not, representative of who I am as a player and it's just something that I that I know that I'm aware of and I'm I'm trying to trying every day I practice to really play at my level, you know, play at the best version of myself and that coaches coach is helping me to do that and, and my teammates and I'm I'm trying to be the best teammate I can be for my team. How, how much do you kind of feel like you have to be good for this team uh in terms of because so much everybody else is so young and inexperienced? Yeah, I mean obviously, you know. I can't have a game like I had last game. I, I need to bring a certain level of of, of my game, you know, and, and it's something that I, I didn't do the last game. Eric Terry, you got next, and then Chris Oso, circle back to you. Olivia, you've had some pretty big games uh, against Notre Dame in the past, just considering your familiarity with uh, Notre Dame from the ACC. Just how confident are you coming into this game? You know, it's just an, it's another game. They got an, it's a different team since last year, but I mean, I, I know, I know the players, I, I kind of know their, the schemes and all that. So it's just um, being mindful of that, how we playing sky and report. Um, it's it's going to be a personal game, you know, and learn, know, knowing your personnel and it's just gives an advantage and, and I can have some advices for the guys and yeah. Go ahead. Okay, Olivier, what uh, was the biggest lesson for about uh, after the three straight losses? And do you feel that uh, the game against Notre Dame is kind of a fresh start for for your team? Uh, the biggest lesson is just that we're in this together and we have to compete. We have to fight, you know, um, each and every game. The rest will take care of itself. And, and then, yeah, I mean, obviously it's a new game, new opportunity. So it's definitely definitely a a good start for us to get started. Gary, I'm coming back to you. Olivier, uh, Coach Cal on his radio show asked uh, whether there were junkyard dogs on the team. Uh, who are the junkyard dogs? Man, we got we got a whole lot. We got, I mean, whether it's BJ, Terrence, Cam, Lance, 
I mean, Isaiah, all, everybody, all these guys, we just got, everybody has the potential to do it. We just got to, to show it. Hello, Brandon. I would like to ask you, how's your preparation personally about the game against Notre Dame? And uh, you feel more responsible now after the three straight losses to make a step up? Most definitely after those uh, three straight losses, you know, it's kind of just brought me back to myself. You know, getting getting up early at 6 a.m. to go shoot on the gun in the morning this, this whole week. It's just lo making me lock in even more, just change my mindset how to approach the game. And also about uh, Coach Cal, what uh, he advised to you about, uh, the, about the continue of the season? Continue to see that uh, it's a long process. You know, we just got to stay the course, you know, learn how to gel together and just play basketball the right way. Tom Hale will go to you, and then uh, we're going to Tom up out look after that. PJ, is there – how much surprise, I guess, is there from you and, and the other freshmen in terms of how difficult this has been? Is it what you expected, or has, has the level of competition kind of taken you by surprise? Uh, definitely a surprise. You know, it's another level. It's a different level than high school. But, you know, you know, just staying the course, taking it day by day, getting better every day. That's all we can do. And then what's just the confidence level like? I mean, has it been shaken at all, or, or are you guys responding to this well? Nah, we're definitely responding to it well. You know, just like I said, getting in the gym all day, every day, and just working on our game. All right, we're going to talk about that look after that. You had mentioned about getting up at 6 a.m. and shooting. Is there a group of you all that are, are doing that? Is it you individually? How's the individual workouts going? Um, I extend the invite to all my teammates. I call it the breakfast club. You know, I, I get up around like 5.45, get in the gym by 6, uh, try to finish by 7.30, then get like meditate after I didn't eat breakfast. But so far, it's only just been me and Cam Fletcher uh, beginning up that early right now. All right, Jerry Tipton, you got next? Yeah, I'm just wondering uh, what – What you would cite for why the, the team has had so many turnovers, how important is reducing the turnovers? Uh, very important. I feel like that's part of the reason why we're losing so many games because we have so many turnovers. Uh, coaches preach to us, you got to make the easy plays, not try to make, not try to be the guy to make the deep play. And just, just slow down when we get the ball. He's been saying that all along. They make the easy play. Why hasn't that translated into guys make making the easy play because right now we we still have 10 new guys who've never played basketball with each other so we're still trying to gel but i feel like it's going to come it's going to come one day sooner than later we're coming back to you go ahead yeah brandon obviously it's a it's a it's an experience for you all those all this process How you evaluate uh, your game, and what uh, would you like to to give on the court? To you would like to give on the court for your team? Uh, right now, I would say I'm not really playing my best basketball, but you know, I'm just taking it day by day, staying in the gym, keep my confidence high. Uh, I, and I, I want I want people to see that I have a high motor, I'm willing to play winning basketball, and I go out there and compete and fight every game. Thank you. Jerry, back to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering, you guys, uh, Notre Dame's another team that has older players, more experienced players. What do you see that's the advantage, if you see anything, to experience, to having uh, these, these other teams having played together? Yeah, uh, experience plays a big role, but I feel like if we just play our game, play the right way, just go out there and fight and compete, we'll be good.